Hey everybody, I'm James Moses Black. Awesome. Is that Thank enough? you so much. That's perfect. I, give another name. I, I love have, that. I, more to I love how long it is. Right. It's like an official solid intro <laughs> right there. No um, so you're no stranger to no, the superhero no. realm. You've no. been no, like I'm a not. couple of films. Yeah, yeah. So what superpower would you want in today's day and age to help you get through whatever's going on uh, with current events? I would events? like to have the power of love to stop all the craziness, you know? I would just like to come down and be like, boom, everybody in love. And then... That probably would solve a lot of the world's problems. Stuff, right. A lot of things happen because people want power because they weren't right. loved or, right. you know? So I, I, I like that power, you know? Not even for any other reasons, but that would be that would be the great power. That's really beautiful. You should be Mr. America <laughs> instead of Miss America. Right, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, so this movie, In Vino, uh -huh. is about people trying to, you know, come together to backstab each other right, right. to, you know, save themselves. Right, right. So my question for you is, if you could choose any celebrity to be your partner in crime to get you out of any situation, what celebrity would you choose and why? That's a good question. Uh, other than OJ Simpson. <laughs> Uh, other than uh, he was he wasn't even at the top of the list. Uh, I would have to say probably uh, Miss Bigelow, the director. Catherine Bigelow. Catherine Bigelow. She seems to have a, a proper touch on the world, you know, and so that would be kind of my partner. So Catherine Bigelow. She covers a lot of war films yeah, too. Yeah. So yeah, that'd be my partner. Her or Brad Pitt, one of the two. That's so random. Why Brad Pitt? I don't know. He just seems like we can get out of stuff. You know what I mean? We can get out of stuff with Brad Pitt. Catherine, she'll sit back and kind of massage the situation, and we'll get out of it. Brad will probably get straight out of it. You know. So, how did you first get into acting, and what drew you to this world? Uh, I got into acting because I uh, I came out of the womb crying, screaming. My mother's like, "Oh, he is going to be an actor right away." And then I went to college for to be a doctor, and then I discovered theater one day, and then I went to ACT, and then boom! Next thing you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm an entertainer. I don't really consider acting is a profession. I'm I'm more of a storyteller. I tell stories. And why do you like that so much? Why are you so passionate about it? Uh, because it, it it allows me to venture into lives that maybe I don't have all the time, but I can create that imaginary world, and people can see that and have some sort of empathy toward what's going on. It's always good when somebody says, damn, that's the same stuff I went through, you know, and you're, and you're telling a story about it, so yeah. So what's your dream role then? That's a good one, I'd probably have to write it. I want to be a part of a movie called um, 55 Black, and it's about the 50s in Las Vegas and the whole Jim Crow system for entertainers that would come to Las Vegas. So that'd probably be my dream one. So it's a lot of heavy topics, but you're such a light and bright energy. Know, so it's so that's interesting that, that you're drawn to like the very dramatic, very heavy topics. Like I, I'm drawn toward uh, things that care about people. I like people. I love people. So I, I want to tell stories about human beings. So it's all relatable. Well, I hope I see that come into fruition you for will. you. You will. Good luck. Thank you. Take care. Nice Thanks, chatting Charlie. with you. Absolutely. Have